Did you know that by working together with Microsoft, Georgia's 463 high schools will have access to classroom lab licensing, learning, content lessons plans, teachers' resources, professional development, and class projects annually. In addition, the 460,000 high school students in Georgia's public schools can earn industry-recognized certification on Microsoft programs, programs that will help them pursue careers in business, technology, engineering, science, and beyond. Greetings, everyone. It's Friday, June 27, 2014, and this is Tech Talk with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. I'm your guest host, Frank Baia. Up to the Tech Talk, Microsoft IT Academy, as we speak with former and current students on just what made them originally consider Microsoft Academy, what was the experience like, and what kind of certifications were they able to achieve. Meet Courtney Abrams, 2014 graduate of Fayette County High School. Along with the help of her teacher, Courtney was able to take three business education courses and excel in Microsoft certifications. And... Reagan Beavers, a 16-year-old senior at Fayette County High School who currently possesses eight Microsoft Office Specialist certifications. She has won several awards, such as Business Education Student of the Year. And with certifications, Reagan has earned opportunities for several job interviews, which eventually led to a new job at the Delta Community Credit Union. It's a special tech talk on a unique opportunity for high school students and the next generation of Georgia's IT professionals as we gain insights into the Microsoft IT Academy program, a program that prepares educators and students for industry-recognized certification. On this Tech Talk, discover how the Microsoft certification program differentiates students in today's competitive job market and broadens their employment opportunities for the future. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by... Globalspeak.com, new media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. Courtney, Reagan, welcome to Tech Talk. Hi, thank you. Hi. Well, pretty exciting. Uh, a, uh, the start of a, uh, I think, going to be a, 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 at some one point uh, an adventure, but on another standpoint, uh, the beginning of a lifetime of, of career opportunity. Uh, obviously, Microsoft is working with uh, in Georgia 463 high schools, something like 460,000 high school students and public schools are going to be able to uh, earn and be recognized for certification on Microsoft programs. That's pretty heady stuff. Um, Courtney, why don't we start with you and, and give us a little personal insight. What made you originally sign up for the Microsoft IT Academy? I actually moved to Georgia my sophomore year of high school, and I was looking for new electives to take. And my old school in California didn't have anything really that worked with computers, so I thought it would be good to kind of try something new and go try some computer stuff. And then once I started the program and saw how great everything was and how many opportunities it opened up, um, I was ready to take more and more computer classes from there. Reagan, uh, give us your perspective. And what brought you to the Microsoft IT Academy? Well, um, the class was called Computer Apps. And ever since I was a little one, probably about five years old, I've always been really invested in computers. I've just been a really computer nerd. And... Um, when I saw computer apps, I knew that was something I wanted to do because I really love computers and electronics. There ought to be an app for that, right? <laughs> well, uh, and stay with us a little bit, Reagan. Go, go into the certifications that you have. What kind of certifications do you have, and, and how will they help you in the future? Um, well, I have eight certifications. Um, I'm certified in Word, Word Expert, Excel, Excel Expert, wow. Outlook, PowerPoint access, and then I have an extra certification for the Microsoft Office Specialist Master title. And, um, well, recently um, I just got hired by uh, Delta Community Credit Union because of my certification. And so um, I'm really looking to take what I've learned from my classes and take it a little bit further in my job. And maybe um, one day I could be like a banking IT, or something along those lines. 
Well, the possibilities are, 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 are pretty amazing, especially they're already beginning to formulate right in front of your eyes. That's pretty exciting. And again, Courtney, maybe get into some of your certifications, and are they already helping you in the future? I have seven certifications. I have Word, Word Expert, Excel, Excel Expert, PowerPoint, Outlook, and also the Master Title Certification. And um, the certifications have helped me with so many things, including getting into college. They really look well on every application that you fill out, and um, I know that I'm going to have so many more opportunities, including radio interviews and just um, jobs in the future. So it's great. It's almost like uh, American Idol. You go to the competitive <laughs> and, and come out the other side and get a a whole list of opportunities, some of which you've uh, imagined and others that you had no idea would happen. Accidental excellence and uh, and just great opportunity, but the other side, hard work and, and study and, and, and solid training. Let's talk a little bit about training. Courtney, stay with us a little bit and tell us about uh, how are you utilizing your technology training now? I use it every day. Every day is just Microsoft is always there, and you can use it with simple things like, school and stuff, but actually a lot of teachers um, need help in, like, this area, and they don't know things about Microsoft that they can do, and me and Reagan actually had an opportunity to help teach other teachers around Georgia how to teach their students to use Microsoft, so we got to go three days to these classes and show teachers um, some stuff about Microsoft and answer questions that they had. Uh, Reagan and and you, uh, maybe some insights. Uh, obviously, Courtney is saying that you guys are already working together, but uh, are there some other things that you're doing where you're using your training now? Right. Um, well, I have been um, doing the Microsoft IT Academy with Courtney down at the high school, but um, I've also been contacted by the PTO of uh, the elementary school nearby, Fayette Elementary, and they wanted me to design a Spring Fling Festival map. And so um, I had a little fun putting that together for the children down there. And also um, a business has asked me to design their website. Wow. So wow. I get a lot of opportunities to work with the community and also just have fun designing and playing with some features that I really love with Microsoft. Well, I think the confidence plays a great role. I, obviously, when you have a, a creative capability and you've got a talent that allows you to do this kind of work and then get the opportunity, the exposure, the training, the experience, it's got to build up a tremendous amount of confidence. And uh, really, you guys become idols. I was joking about American Idol, but now when I'm listening, talking to, to younger people, working with uh, elementary and high schools, uh, obviously you're, you're demonstrating uh, uh, pretty extraordinary things that um, give, uh, inspire, if you will, other people to do the same thing. Uh, with that regard, Courtney, what, what advice would you give to other girls that are your age? Um, I would definitely tell them to jump in with two feet and go ahead and go for every certification that they think or even think they can't get because there are so many opportunities that come with it, and you can just try and work your hardest, and you will do unimaginable things and you will achieve more certifications than you ever thought possible. I never thought that I would even have one certification, but the second I took that first certification test, I was ready to take another mm -hmm. and then another and another. And it's so encouraging once you finally pass that first test that it just leads to so many more open doors, and it's a really great opportunity, and I think everyone should do this if they have the chance. I can hear the excitement and the passion in your voice. Reagan, how about you? What advice would you give other girls? I would tell them to not hold back because even if you fail a test, that's not the end of the world. You can always take it again. And be excited for the knowledge that you can obtain from this. Obviously, like from my experience, I promise you, I never thought I would be on this program, Tech Talk. It's just an amazing opportunity. And you just go in blind, but you come out feeling so enriched in knowledge. It's just an amazing experience. And I think that everyone should have the opportunity to have this experience. It was a movie many years ago, but one of the sayings that came out of it was, don't dream it, be it. And that's exactly what it sounds like you guys are doing, is that 
you're not just dreaming or imagining the possibilities. As you point out, you get your both feet into the into the situation and going after all that you can get out of it. Where does it go from here, Courtney? I mean, uh, what happens in the next few years as you mature and begin to get your career started? How do you see uh, the future education helping you now and then reaching your goals for the future? Well, I actually want to become a teacher, so I think having these certifications is going to help me with any students that I may find in the future who also want to go ahead and become certified, and I can teach other students all the opportunities that I can give you, and um, I'd like to teach younger children, so if getting them started at a younger age, so that way by the time they get to high school, they can already have all this knowledge and be ready to take as many certifications as they can. Reagan, we're going to be wrapping up real quickly, but just one more point to you. Uh, as far as your education, how do you see it helping you reach your goals? Um, well, because I got this um, internship at Delta, I may be wanting to take that a step further and maybe sticking around with them for a while. Or maybe I've always had a lifelong dream since I was little to be a vet, so hmm. I might be following that up. I still haven't decided, but these um, certifications have definitely opened more doors for me. Well, I bet you, you know, there's another possibility, and that's you may come up with an innovative technology and create an app for vets. <laughs> right, right. So, I mean, they, that's one of the great parts about what you guys are describing. Just Again, our listeners can share with me what I, I'm experiencing, and that is the excitement, the passion, the confidence that's in your voice is uh uh, it comes across pretty strong and pretty clear, and that happens because you, you're not just, as I mentioned earlier, talked about it, but you've actually done it and are continuing to do it. And even better than that, you're sharing it with your peers and other people. Hats off to you for doing a great job and for continued success. And thank you, for, uh, Courtney and Reagan, for taking a few seconds out of what it sounds to me a pretty exciting life and a busy schedule to join us for a few minutes here on Tech Talk. Anytime. Thank you so thank much you for having us. us.